Well, what there. happened this week, I don't know if you noticed, the president came out and uh, he's uh, telling people about the results of the unemployment right now. Yeah. We know that there's, you know, 92, 97 million people that's out of the workforce. What else? He, you know, he, you notice he came here a couple weeks ago. Uh, so we, we live in on a false foundation. We yeah. know it. But uh, and that's why this socialist appeal is, is, is looking good to some some of the younger people being misinformed. And, and, and you and, notice and, that GM announced that uh, they historic car sales. Average person is going to get a bonus of eleven thousand yeah. dollars. Yeah. And not one person is 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 beholden to the union. For that, for the, for that profit sharing amount of money, you know, usually when a benefit like that pays off like that, everybody says, "Now well, that's that's capitalism. Yeah. That's, that was capitalism, that's exactly though. Right. That wasn't the union. That's that's what I'm saying. That, that, usually, when uh, when something comes up, the UAW and all of the other unions say this is because this the is result what, of yes, yes. And, and so this is why uh, the the uh, I was saying that the, if the union uh, that is the beneficiary of, uh, of 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 these young people being socialists. They're the reason. They're the offspring of the people that were so beholden to the unions. They are the ones that that believe that the that the the college is is the is the way to go, and they're turning their back on the unions. They're turning their back on the trades. They're begging for people in the trades. They're all going into college, and these people are coming oh, out man. socialists. And 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 and, and feel you, what's the the bad part is is that they're coming out with the historic amount of money that's saddled on their backs. Yeah, f and student loans. Yep. And, and so that's why that's why when they hear this socialist yeah. say, "We're going to give you a free, free college." Right. Do it, yeah, do it. Right. You, I don't. I've been practicing my Bernie by us, uh, Bernie Sanders yeah. boys. I don't oh, have to go. We get a fun these sandwiches. And you know that that wasn't too bad, dear people. <laughs> I guess he's been practicing it too. <laughs> you know, because he get on and I'm telling you, we're going to give you free and all and when I've been and you know all the big government, big big business. Is stealing your money, and I'm gonna give you free college and free, and the crowds just go free, yeah. free, free. Yeah. And so when you hear those debates, you notice that um, that uh, Hillary, she have to. Oh my God, I got to give away something too. The only yeah. way I can compete, yeah. Yeah. I, I have to. So that we have this. Who, who can give away? Uh, who can have the biggest giveaway? But before I didn't want to change subject, but well, just stand with that. Uh, and do, you know, former uh, MWAC head uh, uh, Ben uh, uh, Jealous, Jealous yeah. he uh, came out and said he was going to endorse. Yeah, uh, he was going to endorse Bernie Sanders. Phil, what do you think about that? His endorsement of Bernie Sanders. Well, it, if if you look at it, what um uh what's his name? Uh, West uh the oh. uh, the Cornell? Uh, Cornell West. Oh. He, oh, he, oh, yeah, he, he's yeah. introducing Bernie, you know. Oh, it's over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, all right, so they leading, they are leading people into yeah. this, into the to the abyss. Really, they leading people yeah. into the abyss. There's is there's no ink outcome that's going to come out of this. Yeah, I just want to report that this is from uh, the Chicago Tribune. It says that uh, it says nearly half of young black men in Chicago are out of work and out of school. It said. Uh, 44% of 20 to 24 year olds uh, black men in Chicago, that's 44% in Illinois are out of school and out of work. This is, uh, so why would they endorse, why would somebody from the NAAC and, and, and what's his name, Cornell West be, why would they be supporting uh, a, so, a socialist or anybody from the Democratic Party when there's historic number of young men that are out of work. Because right? they not don't even understand going to school. why. Our they don't fellow, understand why. Our fellow black people have been socialists from, from I, I can't tell you how far back. They, <clears throat> they embrace uh, uh, socialism it's far back, and that's how one of the reasons why the Democrat Party has made such a hard turn because they're trying to patronize 
the the black vote and, and maintain that black vote. So At ninety percent. Yeah. So wow. the only way you can do that is to is to is to give grow the government. The, and give away the goodies. Well, give wasn't it the uh, Franklin Delano Roosevelt Great Society that actually destroyed the black family? Yes. What, what, well, what, more or less, uh, Ben, uh, I mean, uh, LBJ. He's oh, the, that's right, yeah. yeah. LBJ. LBJ's Great Society, yeah. uh, Franklin Roosevelt was what? What was his uh, 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 the, New Deal? The New the Deal, New which Deal. was the precursor, chicken in every pie, the precursor to the Great <laughs> oh, Society. Oh, oh, <laughs> was it a chicken in every pie? <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so, uh, but... But he opened up the the jobs to to the minorities, and uh, you know, like on the Hoover Dam and all of that. And that's one of the reasons why uh, he is the one that really led the black populace into the Democrat Party. I see. You know, be, but uh, they uh, it, it also they gave away. They started giving away uh, government largesse too. Right. So right. you know, all of that. Yeah, well, I've long thought that the the union really had a good foundation when it was protecting the rights of the human mm-hmm. uh, being, you know, yeah. protecting the sanctity of the of the human being in there. Uh, but when they turned to um, uh, managing wages, that's when the the unions mistook their mandate. And when we started paying everybody across the board based upon time on job yes. rather than based upon performance yes. and, and, and contribution to the production mm-hmm. and, and to the economy, that's when the unions mistook their mandate and that's when the unions destroyed yeah. the incentive of capitalism. Yeah. See, my wife used to uh, uh, be administrator. She worked in the school system for years and, and she left that school system because she said this right here, she said, Dale, I watched the union protect people with bad work ethics. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's mm-hmm. right. Bad mm-hmm. work ethics. That's ethics. exactly what mm-hmm. I'm saying. And she said, well, the reason why the schools are going down, you can't protect. Here, this is per- supposed to be a person that's an educator that's supposed to bring up kids, and, and they down in the in, on the same level yeah. with the kids. Um, and some of the things that they do uh, <laughs> supposedly to protect the rights is is just crazy, but uh, but it was noble. I mean, uh, of course, who could who could deny uh, the civil rights movement and in the union joining that strictly for votes? Yes, strictly for votes. That's the the only you know the numbers. That has always been the main concern of the unions. Now with the with the way things are going. You see the population of General Motors drop from a million employees down to probably less than 100,000, probably less than 50,000. I don't know the exact numbers. but Well, the, the numbers are low. We've yeah. we seen all those plants close. Matter of fact, we've seen all those dealerships close. Yeah. It, it, yeah. So they are doing more work and they're more productive. So mm. that's why people was able to get a, some of these nice bonuses. Mm. They are doing more work, more productive uh, with less people, but here I'm gonna get to the to the uh, to the phone lines real quick. And on line one, we have Miss Reynolds. Good morning. How you doing, Miss Reynolds? Good morning. I'm fine. How are you? Good. 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 And so um, it, it, there's a an event that's going on um, um, tomorrow that you wanted to uh, our audience to what uh, to know about. Yes, uh, at two o'clock in Ann Arbor. Uh, at the Planned Parenthood, uh, I will be speaking on the uh, issue of abortion. I was um, living in the world, so to speak, okay. and I had 14 abortions at that time. Oh, my. And today I'm a born-again Christian. God has set me free and changed me totally. And he yes. showed me that one of the things he saved my life for is to uh, make my people, black people, aware that we get more abortions than any other race. Uh, in America, and we need to stop sweeping it under the rug in our churches, in our communities, and in our homes, and start to deal with this issue of abortion. Yeah, absolutely, and I absolutely agree. Phil, the Great Roundtable agree with that. Now, can I? We, I just want to ask, why is it that you believe uh, uh, that there is so, just in the urban areas, why abortion is so is at these high numbers? Well. I believe, and going back to when my mother had me uh, get my first abortion, 
uh, which was even before they were legal, okay. uh, on a kitchen table, a black nurse that uh, worked at the uh, hospital. Uh, she did it for her part-time uh, income. But I believe it started way back long before even my mother came along, and I believe it started back when they were uh, trying to uh, control the black population. And that issue of abortion came in, and we as black people, I believe we've been bamboozled to believe that what we're doing is right and good, but it's not the godly thing and, to do. It's it, murder, it to be honest. T- totally not the godly thing to do. Matter of fact, it's something that we've been talking about for years, Phil and I and the mayor has been uh, champions with champions of life and been champions for life for years. But one of the things that we go back and we talk about the legacy of this woman that that, that this name Planned Parenthood is mm-hmm. named after is this woman Margaret Sanger. And then mm-hmm. she did have a she had a plan, the plan mm-hmm. to go into the churches and find somebody very articulate mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. Uh, you know and to and to manipulate blacks. Uh, she uh, considered that were undesirable. As a matter of fact, I did have a uh, quote from her. I had a soundbar from her because she said the 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 worst thing that we can ever do is uh, bring a baby into the world with uh, with with you know into poverty that has some kind of. She, she said know, the best thing that she could do for uh, a, a poor baby is. Yes. To, to kill it. It's to kill it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's to actually Well, that shows kill right it. there, yes. one, that she was not a woman of God. No, just she Just like wasn't. I wasn't when I got 14 abortions. But when you have the Spirit of, of God in you, the Holy Spirit uh, will convict you of what's wrong. And if I was a woman of God way back then, once, I, I, I wouldn't have never even got pregnant 14 times. Yes, yes. But it would have been wrong to kill babies regardless to how many times I got pregnant, because God will provide. And we as a people need to go back to the Bible, go back to knowing that we are the provider and God is the source. And so for us to feel like, I can't afford this child, I have to abort it. Well, hold on just a minute. Hold on just a minute. As a people. Hold on just a minute. We're gonna. I'm gonna let you talk for a few more minutes. I got the board loaded, but I want to hear a little bit more about what you have to say. We're gonna go to a break. Hold on. We're gonna talk a little bit.